Given the nonconformist milieu the young William Blake was accustomed to, it's not surprising that he would be attracted to the radical theology of a fellow spiritual visionary. The 18th century Swedish scientist turned theologian Emanuel Swedenborg, a man who, like Blake, claimed to have frequent encounters with the divine. In his seminal work, Heaven and Hell, whose translation Blake owned, read, and annotated, Swedenborg chronicles his numerous first-hand experiences with spirits, heaven, and God itself. There was much in Swedenborg's religious writings to stoke the fires of Blake's unique imagination. Perhaps most importantly of all was Swedenborg's profound contention that heaven, composed of the angels in unity with the divine, could be visually perceived as one grand man. The entire heaven resembles one man. As the entire heaven resembles one man, so every society of heaven resembles the man in lesser form. The entire heaven as a whole resembles one man, also any one society of heaven, and each angel is in a complete human form. We have um, the five senses, and we're able to function entirely as one person, and similarly the heavens uh, is... Uh, functioning as the grand man, the great man, uh, similar to an individual. Swedenborg's contention wasn't entirely his own. The visual understanding of God as man has biblical precedent in the Old Testament, notably Genesis chapter 1, verse 27. So God created man in his own image. In the image of God, he created him.